Yeah. Yeah. Do I need to say anything? Are there really any words to describe what I'm feeling right now? Probably not, but I'm going to try. This video is titled, what it, what it Feels Like, How I'm Feeling After Living the Van Life for One Week. I'm here in Fiordland. I'm here actually in a place called Milford. I'm about to go on a boat trip to check out the Milford Sound. And for the last week, I've been living on the road with my friend Tim. He's got his camper van over there. I've got my van over here. Tim and his dad have actually just headed off onto the Milford track. Um, it's a four day tramp, which I wasn't prepared to do. So I'm going to spend the next four days alone in my van around Queenstown. So I've said goodbye to him. Before I leave here, I'm going to check out Milford Sound on the boat. Um, then I'll be back to my, my van here and uh, we'll be heading back to Queenstown. So for the last week, we've, we've spent different nights in different spots around Queenstown. It has been it has been an epic experience. Um, it's been something that I've wanted to do for so long, but I, I felt really out of my depth in a place like this, you know, especially, you know, I hadn't traveled around New Zealand before. Um, I also hadn't traveled, you know, in the back of a van before. Um, and so slowly but surely, I've sort of worked out exactly what I do need and what I don't need. So after a week, I do feel as though I'm ready to be on my own and pretty much live, you know, pretty much live off grid. I've I've had trouble with um, keeping my laptop charged, so obviously, you know, I may need to go and use a PowerPoint to charge things or to edit videos and or, you know things like that. You may have seen a, a some few, uh, you may have seen some reaction videos that I did in the back of the van. I did that one morning. It was kind of difficult. It was definitely difficult because of the fact that the laptop, uh, yeah, the charge doesn't doesn't last that long. So. You know, for the last week, I literally haven't worried about bringing out this camera. I haven't worried about doing too much other than waking up with a positive mindset, feeling freedom, and uh, and living life. So it's been fucking mint, actually. It's been really good. I, I I'm going to struggle to explain it. I am feeling. I'm feeling some kind of way. I'm not going to go and say I'm feeling the, the best I've ever felt, the happiest I've ever been, but it's it's definitely up there and it's it's not for any for any physical challenge that I'm doing or any fucking goal that I've got. It's literally just because I am living right now with with no regrets, bro. No regrets. Zero right now. The only regret that I would have had is not seeing my kids. That decision got taken out of my hands. Guys, you've got to be mature enough to, to, to realize that. If you're watching me, watching this channel, what is my why? Why do I do things? Why do I challenge myself? I want to inspire my children, plus anyone else out there, that an ordinary person can do extraordinary things if they just set their mind to it. Now that is my mindset for my, my challenges, for my goals that I set myself. But we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about what it actually feels like to be in a van, <laughs> be living the van life for seven days. And all I can say is, you gotta try it. You gotta try it for yourself, man. Even if you hate it after the first night, which you won't. It's nice and snuggly in there, it's not cold. The rain actually makes it feel better. And then when you've got great sunny days, you open up that door next to some water. We've, we've been pretty treated. We've been lucky, man. We've been uh, able to find campsites basically near the water or, or up an epic mountain or, you know, it's, it's been sick. That contributes to my positive mindset when I open up that door in the morning. Um, I've got my own cooker now, so I can, uh, I can heat up a, a pot of water and make a coffee in the morning, which I've done every single morning. Um, I've got a chili bin, which has been stocked with ice probably every two days. And, um, and I've just realized that there's someone in that van behind me. So I'm gonna shut the fuck up right now. I'm gonna go and catch my boat. And I'm gonna see you guys back here in about three hours. I'm gonna head back to Queenstown tonight. There is a fight night being held at the local MMA gym. If I do decide to stick around Queenstown, which I may do, I'm going to get involved, I'm going to join that gym, and I'm going to start training mixed martial arts, like I always wanted to do. Something about this place, man. Queenstown's small, it's not, it's not huge. We're not in Queenstown right now, but we're in the district. 
Southland, Central Otago, Wanaka, Queenstown, Tiana, that sort of area and um, I'm absolutely loving it. So thank you so much for watching guys. This is what it re how I'm feeling after a week on the road. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Reaction videos will be back soon, but not just yet. You gotta just you gotta just stop and smell the roses every now and then, guys. And I've I've been guilty of not doing that. So I've enjoyed I've enjoyed that. And to be honest, I've also <laughs> you may have heard me talk about. Um, well, actually, f I met a girl, man. I I, I I did, I did. On the weekend I was down here for my marathon, I met someone, and we've continued to see each other, and it's fucking good. So. See you guys soon. Peace out.